hello everybody welcome back to my channel <laughs> this is my third video so i'm saying back and reflecting on it and yes sir i'm going to keep on counting <laughs> anyway my name is Omodeli Salu and if you're here it means you enjoy true crime content as much as I do so welcome welcome take a seat I'm going to be posting a lot of content like this so if this is something that you like please like if it's something that you like please like subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you can not so you can get notified when I post a new video what is happening to me today I'm starting all hyped then I'm just making mistakes but Anyway, before I get into this terrifying case, I'd like to give a major disclaimer. This video is not in any way meant to offend anyone, especially not the victims and their families. This video is for educational purposes and I just like sharing my views on issues like this. So I like to talk. Basically, I like to talk. Why am I person? I'm having a, a lot of a lot of things going on with me today i'm thinking of so many things at the same time <laughs> anyway today's case is going to be an emotional one for me because it's, it is a nigerian case and that does not i'm not saying that i do not relate with other cases i feel it just as deeply but this happened just you know when when it hits so close to home you have a different reaction i guess so this case is just what what happened after like after the event it's like nigerians were so comfortable making letting this man die sorry and when i when i when i think about it it's it just so hard to wrap my head around and also today we're going to be talking about the bystander effect and how this could have been one of the reasons why this man died. Dr. Akunyili was born JC Akunyili. Now I don't know what the J in JC stands for, but I know the C stands for Chike. But for the purpose of this video anyway, we're just going to be referring to him as Dr. Akunyili, right? He was born in Agolo, which is like in a south, which is in Anambra state, which is in the southern, the southeastern part of Nigeria. Just see me embarrassing myself here. I say southern eastern. He graduated with honors from a university in Nigeria, which again is unknown. And it just feels like not much is known about his personal life, and which is fine because maybe they, his family maybe they want it to be so, so it's fine. Um, as at the time of his death, he was a physician, so he was a doctor. Like I said, we're just going to be calling him Dr. Akunyele. Dr. Akunyele was invested in so many charity services across Nigeria. And he was married to Dora Inkem Akunyele, who was born on the 14th of July, 1954, and sadly died on the 7th of June 2014 in India after a two-year battle with uterine cancer. And unlike Dr. Akunyele, we know a lot about his wife's life because she was a politician and a, a very public person and she did so much for the country. And I, I don't know, I feel like I have to get into, I have to just get into like a summary of her life she's also dead so i just feel like i have to get a summary into a summary of her life before she died so that you would see it, it kind of going it's going to create a bigger picture because not much is known about him but want to, i want to say a little about his wife because when i say these things about his wife you understand how incredibly amazing these people were and how much they did for the country but how I don't know I, I don't I don't know how to express this but basically we we did not this we do not deserve them we did not deserve them we did nothing to appreciate it and it showed in the end Dora accordingly attended the University of Nigeria Onsuka in Enugu state where she got a degree in pharmacology in 1978 and also got her PhD in the same university in 1985. She became the Director General of the National Agency of Food and Drug Administration Control, NAVDAC of Nigeria in 2001, 
until 2008. She was also the Federal Minister of Information and Communication from December 17, 2008 to December 15, 2010. Her political affiliations were All Progressives Grand Alliance, APGA, and People's Democrat Democratic Party, PDP. And I have to comment on what I just said, democratic. <laughs> Sorry, pus, democratic, democratic. And this is just me summarizing. Dora Queen Lee was a very impressive woman and I cannot go into all she did for the country and talk about even there was an assassination attempt on her life. So sadly this case is just about the death of her husband i don't want to just start spiraling because i'm going to get angry when i start thinking about everything anyway the aquilis had six children ijoma edozie sumtum injideka chidiyoko and obuneme on the 28th of september 2021 sorry i was about to say 2001 dr akunili was on his way back home from an event organized by university of nigeria alumni association to honor his late wife dora akunili at sharon's hall all saints cathedral when he was murdered by some gunmen at umpo in the idimili north local government area of anambra state nigeria a statement released by the command police public relations officer tochuku ikenga said that the commissioner of police tony olofu visited the scene where dr akunyeli was killed according to the statement at about 5 pm around umpo roundabout some gunmen the number is actually unknown so i don't know how many they were all right but some gunmen shot the police inspector that was attached to a very important personality and i'm just now i'm just going to like read um, some things from this statement because my mind was blown at afro umpa junction three unidentified bodies were recovered a burnt toyota Hilux and a vandalized toyota hummer bus were also seen at the scene of the crime the lifeless keep lifeless in mind the lifeless bodies were taken to the hospital and regrettably one of the bodies was identified as one dr chike akunyeli now that lifeless i told you to keep in mind bring it let's put it on the table because we are going to address it according to them they met a lifeless body but on whatsapp and i don't know if this uh, facebook is really strict with things like this a video of dr akunyeli was seen he, i think he had a gunshot to, to his face which was pretty bad his face was disfigured he was open horribly he was bleeding he was reaching out begging for help and we had people posting that like his families i don't even think they were aware yet but people were already posting the video and saying things like r.i.p like he was clearly alive this video was from different angles angles sorry i'm going to be everywhere for this video and i'm going to be making a mistake english is not my first language whatever you should take <laughs> oh my god i started english in school so really bored of me to say english is not my first language because now i cannot pronounce angle sorry this is just a way for me to deal with because if i don't if i don't have this moment in between i'm going to start boiling my eyes out Dr. Akunyili was seen in these videos. He was reaching out, struggling to talk, begging for help. And in this statement, according to them, they picked up the lifeless body of Dr. Akunyili. Now, these videos were from different angles. So there were a lot of people there why 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 didn't anyone help him why did i cannot believe and, and people were posting this video so casually like they post like you're posting a picture of your fucking lunch you just 
post it with, with, with uh, like he wasn't even there and some people were RIPing him. I mean, the rumors were online that he was dead, but there was a pic. But now you're posting a picture of him struggling and begging for help. His his death has not been confirmed by the family or the authorities, but you guys are posting a picture of him begging for help and you are RIPing him so casually, like it's nothing. And I can. No, there was no trigger warning, so it's like you see a picture of a fucking Snapchat selfie, and the next picture you see on their WhatsApp status is the Doctor Akunyili as he was dying. And I, I, I I'm trying to get my head around. So now we are going to talk about the bystander effect. According to VeryRealMind.com, the bystander effect refers to the phenomenon in which the greater number of people present, the less likely people are to help a person in distress. When an emergency situation occurs, observers are more likely to take action if there are few or no other witnesses. Being part of a large crowd makes it so no single person has to take responsibility for an action and this is called an inaction. And sadly, I think this is what happened in the case of Dr. Akonyili because it felt like there were so many people, you could hear all the noises of passerby of people walking by in the videos like on the main road you had drivers we had cars sounding we have we had all of that and still he wasn't like rushed to the hospital no one was trying to call for help people were making videos and i feel i feel horrified by what happened and i wish i wish we don't I'm going to leave a link down to this article that we have and um, that the the this um page wrote on the bystander effect sorry 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 I'm everywhere final thoughts I just I just want everyone to show up show up for yourself and show up for other people just try this is just a simple Things like that. when you see somebody, someone is being attacked, this this is a simple phone call. This is not doing anything to you. This does not do anything to you. So please and please. All right. You can imagine you getting attacked. All right. Put yourself in that situ situation. And there's a crowd of people. All right. And all of those people are thinking. They, they are thinking. No. I'm, I'm, someone else is going to do it. Someone else is going to call this is this is not my responsibility imagine how terrible it would be so please when you when you see something that is bad happening or see something you suspect to be bad just call call the police call for help if if you can stand up to the person please do it to the attacker please do if you cannot please protect yourself and make sure you get help but make sure you get help for the person that is being attacked so today's case has been a very horrible one and it is so heartbreaking and i cannot even begin to imagine how his family must have felt must have felt especially with that video no one deserves to see their loved one in that state in the state that it was no one deserves deserves it they, they they need they should have been given a chance to accept his death before it was all over the internet it is so horrible and please and please and please i don't know how else to say this but if something is happening bring out your phone to call for help not to make a video not to take a picture please please you could you could save you could potentially save a life and and that that should be more important than capturing than being able to capture something in in the moment that is happening i don't know why people do this i don't know why it is it has become so so normal it, it should not be these are things that should should not be you should not be seeing it so 
it should not be saying it every day. It should not be something like I, I see cases like this where people just bring bring out their phones. Something is happening. They're bringing out their phone and, and they're trying to make content. As at the time I'm making this video, there are there are, of course there are rumors, there are speculations about his death and about his killers, but we don't have um there's no there's no direct source saying okay these killers have been apprehended so i don't want to comment based on rumors and i'm just going to link some articles down below so you guys can read and um see for yourself i don't want to spread rumors and um, rumors and push all the really crazy theories going around right now so i'm not even going to be talking about any of them and this brings us to the end of today's case i hope you stayed until the end um, and i hope to see you for the next one rewind this video has been an absolute mess i swear i have a script that i'm following and the words are in the script they're in my head but when it's coming out of my mouth it's just absolute rubbish and i guess i just want to apologize for that i swear i am always like this but I usually know how to handle it a little better. <laughs>